Today we're going to talk about are there holes in the United States remote ID network and is GPS spoofing illegal within the United States? Guys, welcome back to the channel. I have seen a ton of content around remote ID in the past couple of weeks and I'm not surprised to see that there are now types of software that you can download straight off GitHub and open it up, hook it up to a little GPS unit and you're off and kind of creating little ghost drones inside the FAA's remote ID network. It also shows up on the map inside the app as an actual drone with a remote ID on there. So um, you can set up all kinds of parameters in these softwares to be able to fly random patterns. You can, you can, uh, you can do waypoints on there. It's kind of crazy. You can tell it where to go. Um, so if this was used for nefarious activities within the United States border, it would be a problem with U.S. national security because it could cause huge interruptions at airports, prisons, um, courthouses, places where there are uh, government properties, where there's um, no-fly zones. So you want to be super careful with playing around with uh, GPS spoofing. Um, is GPS spoofing illegal in the United States? I'm going to get into that in this video. Uh, I have worked with the highest levels of government out there for drone operation and uh, activities. So we're, we, we implemented the first public safety guide in the United States on our website around 2014. We wrote some of the first types of operational awareness for people operating out in the U.S. borders. So um, yeah, I'll put that link down below there. And the first five of our rules actually ended up becoming FAA regulations. It's not my fault, um, but I wanted people to operate safely inside the United States with their drones. Uh, and, and also just some, some common awareness. It's, it's public safety. And uh, I've always been about that on the channel as far as um, promoting public safety for our drones so that, so that we didn't get banned. Um, and, and, and I just wanted people to be aware. It's all common sense, but GPS spoofing, uh, it, it's also, it's not to be confused with jamming. It's a little different. You're showing up on a network as a ghost drone. Jamming is the stopping of operations for, it's kind of shielding uh, GPS operations. So um, G GPS jamming is illegal to do as a citizen. If you are a government entity, you can GPS jam all day. Uh, they do it in the military on the U.S. fighter jets. They, they will jam each other's jets so that they don't know the location of another fighter jet um, during wartime. It's very important to be able to GPS jam if you have an enemy out there and you're, you're flying a jet. So uh, in this instance, if you're a civilian and you're doing GPS jamming, that, that is illegal to operate that equipment uh, according to uh, the, uh, <laughs> the Code of Federal Regulations. If we're looking in Title 47, if you look down specifically in Chapter 1, Subchapter A, Part 18, uh, that's where it gets kind of specific as far as what is illegal or acceptable within the United States borders. And this, this specifically applies to the United States. Uh, we're, we're talking about ISM bands. We're working on ISM bands uh, for remote ID and, and our radio frequencies specifically. Um, and, it, you know, it gets, it, it gets kind of specific in here. And we're talking about any services that are provided that degrades, obstructs, or repeatedly interrupts radio communication service operating. Now, if you're running these softwares, are you, are you kind of uh, interrupting it? Uh, in a way, yes. So you could be subjected there. Uh, does it degrade the service? Yes, absolutely. If you're throwing up 10 or 20 drones at once and spoofing the network and um, you're, you're, you're interrupting the surface, a service and it, it, it does degrade the service because you're, uh, you're, it's, it's not a true drone up in the air. It is being spoofed. So um, that, would be, that would be illegal to do that um, in this service that the FAA provides. So you want to be super careful doing that. Um, it, that and that's, that's exactly where it can get you. Now, what surprises me and, and doesn't surprise me at the same time is like the FAA, like, uh, you know, within a couple of weeks, we already have like multiple instances of 
uh, a spoofing technology uh, f available from GitHub. Somebody just wrote a few lines of code and bam, you can do all these types of different things. You can change the settings for latitude, longitude. You can change uh, the type of drones that you're flying. It could be a fixed wing or it could be a quadcopter. Uh, it can identify itself through various different settings, uh, even latitude and longitude. You can put the pilot like up in Antarctica and your, pot, your, your drone's down in Brazil. Uh, you could be 6,000 miles away from your drone and, and operating it you know, uh, in real time and, and flying whatever pattern you want. So uh, for nefarious activity, that could be kind of dangerous for, for national, U.S. national security. So uh, I, I, would, I would say play, I wouldn't play around with this software. I wouldn't suggest uh, loading it up on your laptop or even messing around with it, honestly. Um, it, it could maybe put you on the watch list. You want to be super careful when it comes to um, the, the federal government. Now, the, the first one that I saw out there was one Bot Grinders video. And, 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 and trust me, I, you know, do I think this is kind of crazy in, in a way, slightly cool? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool that you can do this. Um, Squid Rid is, is a remote ID penetration and test tool. And at the very top of this guy's website, it says for educational purposes only, um, you can connect your device, you can log into this, and once you're inside it, yeah, you can create ghost drones pretty much anywhere you want, um, and it doesn't define or collect cookies. Uh, it doesn't define your location either, so um, that's one thing about it. You could do this remote from a, an Arduino uh, somewhere operating on top of a pine tree somewhere, and it would be super hard to get to uh, to shut it down, and like Bruce said, they, they could program it to, to come on at a certain time. So someone could go leave it somewhere and then it could turn on like two weeks later and, and start causing chaos in the national grid. So uh, yeah, that's that's kind of scary that, that it could do that. But what was surprising to me, you know, the biggest hole in the FAA's remote ID network is the fact that it doesn't have uh, an encrypted RSA signature for each individual uh, remote ID for your drone. So um, kind of like your, your bank account, fob that you can get. It's a, it's a little encoder that communicates back with the bank that gives you a number uh, specifically to be able to log into your bank account. Different than uh, two-factor authentication kind of, um, but supposed to be more secure. And what happens is if you enter in the wrong number, the, the, the mainframe says, oh, nope, that's not right. I'm not letting you in. And if this was implemented inside the remote ID network, uh, then it would be a lot more secure for this type of communication because, hey, if it said, hey, that's not the right signature, that's not the right line of code, it's not the right number, and it would change every five to ten minutes, it would say, oh, no, we're not showing that on the map inside the remote ID app. But uh, right now, as it is, they're not using that. So it's like, it's wide open. Um, so they can, they can do these lines of code on GitHub and, and get away with this uh, pretty quickly. So, you know, I, am I for it? Not, not really. Am I going to show you how to do it on this channel? I, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get engaged with that. Um, it's, 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 it's totally, totally something that's, that's, that's up to, uh, up to you guys. What you want to do with that information is totally up to you, but I'm definitely not going to uh, promote that type of illegal activity uh, or, or say you should, should test it out um, or do any tutorials on that. Uh, but it, it does say here in the Code of Federal Regulations uh, in Title 47 that uh, these types of, of spoofing operations are, are illegal. So just just be careful, you guys. Just be so careful if you're in the United States playing around with this stuff. Uh, you know, this, this RSA thing's been around since like the 70s. Um, so why, why didn't like the FAA with millions of dollars implement this into, into their system? Where, where was all that money spent? Like the, the average programmer out there knows about electronic signatures and knows about RSA. So um, yeah, encrypted RSA is actually a thing within the programming community and uh, uh, major security firms all know about this. Um, and it, banks have been doing it for years as, as well as hospitals, doctors use these. 
it, it's not an uncommon thing out there. So uh, just blows my mind that, that this wasn't implemented uh, into the system. So right now it's just still wide open. So um, you guys can uh, do what you want with it. Uh, but for me, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be playing with fire here. So uh, I'm going to leave that stuff alone. But I wanted you guys to know about this because uh, uh, it was kind of crazy to me that that all this is popping up and FPV and drones is so exciting all the time. Things are changing so fast and we just wanted to bring you the information that's out there and give you my two cents on it. Uh, and you know, and, and again, I'm not, not trying to tell anybody what to do or anything like that. It's totally up to you what you're going to do uh, in your spare time with your laptop uh, or your, your GPS modules. Uh, it is a DIY community and I am all about that DIY spirit since the very beginnings of this channel showing you guys how to put the pieces together um, to have some fun but not to create chaos so um, just have fun but you know be, be, a, be a responsible citizen out there as well so uh, I, take care and, and just keep flying no matter what like I said like I'm, I'm always with you guys and I, I, I'm for you so I will uh, see you on the next one I want you to take care and keep them flying